Sego, everybody. Um, sego, sego, guego. Ganhodo guas ne yungyats, ganyak gihaga, niguak toga, waganyakto. My name is Sandy Montour. I'm Mohawk Turtle Clan. I'm the executive director of Gunokwasha Family Health Support Services. I'd like to thank Joanna Brandt from the Brantford Sexual Assault Center for nominating Gunokwasha Sunha Jiwa. Um, or our, the Six Nations Sexual Assault Healing Center for the Distinguished Attorney General's Award for Exceptional Achievements and Services. Just a little bit about Joanna. Um, Joanna and her team in Brantford are very uh, important to us here at Gnokwashra. They are our sister um, sexual assault center and they have been for many, many years and they are very much our sisters, always have been and always will be. Nyao Goa Joanna for, for being so amazing uh, to you and your team. I also want to thank our governance, um, the Six Nations Elected Council as well as our Haudenosaunee Confederacy Chiefs um, for always providing us with so much guidance and leadership and support. We really appreciate you. Um, I, wanna sp I, I also want to thank um, Chief Mark Hill for all the kind words uh, that he had to share and say about our nomination and our winning this award. Thank you so much. I was very kind of you to do that. Uh, I do need to acknowledge um, um, the, pa the previous Chief Hill, Chief Ava Hill, um, and well, as well as um, <laughs> Assistant Deputy Attorney General Kimberly Murray. Um, in 2018, they met. They came here to Gunokwasha, and we had a meeting in this very room. And um, it was decided that Gunokwasha would receive funding for our sexual assault center. So I can't thank you enough for that. Um, um, Deputy Assistant Deputy Kim Murray, thank you so very much for for believing us here at Gunokwasha and funding this amazing program. Nyawagoa. So on behalf of Gunokwasha Sunha Jiwa Sexual Assault Healing Center and the Gunokwasha Board of Directors, we are so very honored to receive this award. I need to acknowledge the staff who are dedicated to making change for the Six Nations community. And the staff includes Julia Bombery, who's the Manager of Therapeutic Services, as well as Peg Logan, who's the Sunha Jiwa Supervisor. Both these incredible ladies have breathed life into this program for actually many, many, many years. And because Sunha Jiwa has been a program in the making for well over 30 years. So I just want to make sure that I acknowledge these two women who provide guidance, support, and leadership to the Sunha Jiwa team, these incredible energy workers that include Linda Jameson, Joan Miller, Samantha Cook, Kayla Martin and Charlena Johnson, as well as there are so many other staff that I'm not, I, I don't have time to mention, but there's so many people that are, uh, that make the Sunha Jiwa program work and that are, are, deserve this award as well. So this award is, is not only for Sunha Jiwa, it's for our whole organization and for all the many, all the many staff who have contributed to the making of that program. Our Haudenosaunee culture and traditions comprise the foundation of the Sunha Jiwa program, which has resulted in the delivery of a holistic counseling services for indigenous women, children, and men who have been deeply impacted by sexual trauma. This program is actively changing the oppressive cycles of sexual trauma that were learned by our people from the residential school era for hundreds of years. So this program is making change. And last, but in, by no means least, I want to say in Yawagoa, to each and every child, teen, elder, man, woman, two-spirited, two-spirited plus indivi uh, individual who is brave enough to walk through our doors and trust our staff and our organization to explore places of deep vulnerability. We honor each of you for breaking cycles in your families and our community and reclaiming our right as Haudenosaunee people to live in peace, love, and freedom 
from fear and shame. Nyawa go, everybody.